There are many times when invisible connections link things together. When the variation of one thing determines the variation of another, then that connection is called a function. The size of the balloon is determined by the amount of air. The more air, the larger the balloon. The size, then, is a function of the amount of air. The height of a candle is such a direct function of time that the ancients measured the hours in this way. In one hour, the candle is one unit shorter. In two hours, two units. In three hours, three, and so forth. The candle gets shorter with time. The boy gets taller with time. His height is a function of time because it has a definite value at any instant. Your proper weight is a function of your height, and the number to which the needle points is a function of your weight. Your weight is a function of gravity. The less gravity, as on the moon, the less weight. The speed of the locomotive is a function of the heat in the firebox, the position of the throttle, the diameter of the wheels, the grade of the track, and the direction and the velocity of the wind. It is not likely to depend on the beauty of the scenery or the color of the engineer's hair. Many laws of nature are statements of functional relationships. Functions are the beginning, and sometimes they are the goal of science.